this is Skip with the Widescreen Gaming Forum, and today we're going to do an unboxing and assembly and setup of a WSGF Ultimate Monitor Stand version 2. So everything comes in this one box, it's about 35 pounds. So everything when you get it is wrapped, um, each individual component in bubble wrap like this. I've taken all of that off so it's easier to see and I don't get as much background, background noise here on the audio. So in the center of the packaging you'll get the instructions. You will get uh, the bag of clips. So there are three pole clips and ten bar clips. You'll get the alignment kit which is the spirit level, the protractor, and then the screw kit that Ergotech supplies is in here as well. You will also see rolled up on the side the neoprene mat that is used to um, help prevent uh, slippage or skidding on your desk and also to prevent uh, scratches from the metal base. So here in the center we have the heavy duty metal base. We have here on this end the uh, direct mounting clamp as they call it or the mini bar as I do. This is what you use if you're going to do a one over three or a one under three to mount that one single monitor. We have one, two, three of the adjustable pivots, so here's the screw for the height adjustment. And then we have the one fixed pivot that you use on the row of monitors in the center. We have here the short pole, if you're doing just a single row of monitors. And then we have the tall pole, if you are doing um, a 1 over 3 or a 3 over 1 uh, type configuration. The real centerpiece of the WSGF model stand is the five segment bar that we designed and created in conjunction with Ergotech. Uh, most monitor stands will have a large center bar and then uh, wings on the outside for the outer monitors. Our five segment bar obviously has five segments. Each segment is solid construction, uh, which it allows uh, the WSGF stand to hold larger, heavier monitors. Here we have the three bars in comparison. The bottom one is the original Argotech Triple. It comes in at 55 and a half inches wide. It was designed to hold three 24 inch wide monitors um, or smaller. The middle is the triple with the telescoping wing option. It comes in at a 60 inch wingspan and was originally designed to hold 26 inch wide monitors or smaller. On top we have the WSGF five segment bar which is only available on WSGF edition stands. It adds a full 12 inches over the original Argotech triple and comes in at 67 and a half inches wide and was designed not only to hold 27 inch panels but to give a solid angle of up to 45 degrees between those panels. Setup of the stand is very easy. First you place the neoprene base pad down where you want the stand to sit. Then you take the base, place it on top of that. Next you take the pole, short if you're just doing one row, tall if you're going to do two, and you screw it into the base. If you have a difficult time screwing it into the base, the collar may be slightly misaligned. There are four screws underneath the base that you can loosen, screw in the pole, and then re-tighten. Once that's done, there is an Allen wrench that you can use to um, screw in a set screw on the back, and there is a little holder with some foam tape that you can use to stick it on the back so that you'll always know where that key is. Next up is putting on the bar. Just slide it over the pole. Try to get it as close as to what you think the uh, center of your monitor would be for good ergonomics. Tighten the T-handle on the back. So we're going to start in the center. This is the fixed pivot. There's no height adjustment on it. What you're going to do is tilt the monitor back over the bar. This little pin will latch into the groove here on the monitor rail and the pin will drop when it's in place. And just like that, the monitor's on. Now the first thing you want to do um, is pull up a chair, fire up your PC if you need to, make sure this monitor is at the height you want and will be comfortable for your viewing. Once that's done, pull out the spirit level and we're going to want to adjust the center monitor as much as we can if the center monitor is out of alignment, either uh, pitch, I believe this way, or more importantly, 
um, tilt forward and back this way, you'll never get the gaps uh, between your monitors to go away. So this looks pretty good. One of the great benefits of the WSGF stand, or any stand from ErgoTech, is the heavy duty base. With its 18 thereabouts pound um, weight, you can set monitors on the outer edges without worrying that the stand will tip over. We'll take a quick adjustment here, get the height set. Won't worry about getting anything too perfect um, here immediately because once we put uh, the other monitor on, um, it will adjust the distribution of the whole thing. So again, we're tilting back, tilting forward till the pin locks in. Once we have a, a good rough alignment with everything from a, a tilt and a rotate and a height standpoint, we'll now come in with our protractor and we will uh, make sure the angles between monitors are the same. So we'll take this little pivot point, we'll put it here as a dot between the two monitors, line it up there, and then we'll say here, I like about a 30 degree angle, so this is what I'm going for here. So after spending a couple of minutes on the front side of the monitors, doing a few adjustments and alignments, we have a really good setup here for a 3x1 landscape Affinity or NVIDIA surround setup. One of the questions I get most frequently is what kind of angle can I get between my monitors with 27s? Well, I've personally never owned 27s. When I finally moved up to 1440p, I chose 25s because they were a little bit cheaper and, high, and had a higher PPI for a sharper image. Looking here at the back of the stand, you can see that there's plenty of room uh, for larger monitors moving from 25s to 27s. Um, a 27 inch monitor is only going to be an inch or two wider than what we have here with the 25s. So I could slide these out several inches to account for what would be more than the difference of a 27 inch panel. And I can take this and fold it all the way around to even a 90 degree angle, which I'm not sure why anyone would want that. And I still have room out here. Uh, to move the monitor out. Now I wouldn't do that because doing it on both sides it may tip forward but you can easily with what would be a 27 inch monitor spacing go for um, 45 degrees here or even 60 degrees and it still be playable um, and I believe stable even up to 60 uh, but I think most people would be comfortable around 45 um, with 27s. Another supported configuration is an ultra wide in the middle with wide screens on the side. This is a 34 inch ultra wide in the middle flanked by 25 inch wide screens. The ultra wide does require a heavy duty pivot because of the weight, the weight distribution, and the curve of the screen. The heights between a, a 25 and a 34 are not quite the same, but they are all 1440p. Uh, vertical height here. There is enough room on the bar to do 27s on the side, but the weight distribution um, and the bounciness of the stand becomes a little wonky at that point, and it's not something that we can warrant will work um, without failure and that you would be successful with. To do a 34 inch in the middle with 24 inch or with 27 inch on the outside, we need the mini mega stand, which uses uh, two bases. Um, in this position, in this position, to help uh, distribute the weight um, and the balance. Another cool configuration you can do with an ultra wide and wide and wide screens is a PLP or portrait landscape portrait configuration. I've done that here with the 34 inch ultra wide in the middle, flanked by the 25 inch uh, wide screens in portrait. This you can do with 27s on uh, the sides because the uh, center of gravity there is brought in considerably and the weight distribution um, and the steadiness is not such an issue. But if you were to turn them into landscape mode, again, that's not something uh, that we can warrant would be stable 
or uh, free from failure. If you're interested in how the stand would work in a dual monitor setup with say an ultra wide and then a widescreen and portrait, maybe something for gaming and something for coding or browsing, you can see how we have it set up here. The heavy duty base does a good job of handling the uneven weight distribution between the two panels here. Again, you could go bigger here, you could go 27 or larger. Um, for a dual monitor setup, Linus Tech Tips actually used one of our stands and did dual 34s in landscape. So it will um, handle that configuration. I just don't happen to have two on hand right now. Uh, you can fold back the outer wings uh, to get them out of the way visually, or you can uh, remove them if you're mid upgrade um, and just don't want the visual distraction. Um, one of the great things about the WCF stand and our main goal is that it's something that can adapt and grow with you. So here we have the final configuration of the WSGF Ultimate Stand version 2. We have a 1 over 3, which can be flipped to 3 over 1. Um, in this configuration, we have a 34-inch widescreen over 3 by 25-inch panels in what we call 3 by 1 landscape. You can do still up to 3 by 1 landscape with 24-inch panels or you can use a 24 inch panel up top here. A 34 inch ultra wide and a 27 inch wide screen have about the same vertical height. So they're interchangeable with regards to the specs of what the stand can hold. So this is the WSGF um, Ultimate Monitor Stand version two. Again, it comes with the tall pole for this configuration, the short pole, our custom five segment bar that's only available on our SKUs. We'll do one over three, three over one, five by one portrait. And uh, we thank you for your time. And if you have any questions, please let us know.